Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is Nas. And my name is Ronnie. And we are New Girls on the Block. So this week we're going we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. And we're in a different scenery, if you yes. guys can see. We are in my living room. Her living room. Yes, Some we're new. Changing it up yeah, a bit. Yeah, changing it up a little bit. Just For our viewers on YouTube and yes. TikTok. Yes. So this week. We have, of course, our tea corner, the usual. We have our wellness segment because, you know, we always need some wellness. Mm-hmm. And with this time, we're going to do a confessions corner. I know. So. We're feeling a little festive for Halloween. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Halloween. Got our little costumes on. Uh, yes. I'm, yes. I'm like a bootleg uh, Wednesday. <laughs> and I'm a little bootleg cat. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so we try it. Yeah, we and do yeah. a little something, something. Yeah, so this episode is going to air like right before Halloween. So we're going to do like a little spooky confession section. Mm-hmm. So I guess what we can do today is start off with our tea corner. Okay, so we have some good topics this yeah, week. We were just talking about them before do. we started. Yeah, it's so, been a week. Yes. Not um, that crazy, but not that complicated. Yeah. I'm stuff. glad some people just relax. Yeah, some yeah. Some in people. The, in, the back of the, in the back of the classroom. For real. So, first, do you want to talk about Chance the Rapper and his likes? Ooh. And- yes. So, I seen it all go down live on Twitter the same day. I seen, well, allegedly, because we like to say allegedly, we don't like to assume or confirm or deny things Mm -hmm. so allegedly chance the rapper liked the tweet about trans porn the tl don't lie yeah so i mean hey people like what they like we ain't shaming we we ain't judging yeah do, do you boo yeah but you a married man but yeah. I guess married people, they could still, I guess, dabble in, the- dabble in whatever they, I guess you're married. It's, it's yeah. a video. Yeah, I guess I it's know, just how do you a think, video. How do you feel about that I, as an engaged woman? I feel like, I don't feel like that's, because some people consider that cheating, which is weird. Yeah. I don't think that is cheating. Okay. Was kind of, I mean, not, I'm not going to say weird, but it's not my cup of tea is the trans yeah. type of stuff. But I feel like people hey, like what they like. Yeah, and people yeah. watch what they want to watch. So I don't think yeah. in your relationship that is considered like cheating or yeah. anything. Yeah, his my his wife might be watching with him. Hey, maybe hey, maybe you never, know. you never know. So hey, it was kind of weird. It was like okay, why? Like you know, like and then she came out and addressed it yeah. in the video. I yeah, was like, that was kind of awkward. She, sh- I feel like personally. <laughs> I would not have said anything me about neither. it because that's just making it look even worse yeah. to me. I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't have. Me neither. Yeah. You so. know me, the queen of I don't want to speak on it. Yeah. Like <laughs> saying anything I'm in, I'm not speaking on. If it's something that's out there, you know, in the public, I'm like, okay. Yeah. There's no point because people are gonna believe what they want to believe at exactly. the end of the day. So yeah, I agree. So. I don't know if... How do you feel about... I'm like, she said he's never going to address it. Yeah. I feel like he just needs to be careful what he's liking on Instagram. Because if you're into it, if you're not, hey, it's nobody's business. True. But it does open it up to the public when it's on yeah, the public forum. Like, we can all see... Do he know how Twitter work? Like, exactly. we can all see your like, likes. Everybody can see any like that you do. So, that's what I'm like, okay, maybe it could... Okay, <laughs> maybe it could have been an accident, but for that to pop up on his t- Twitter timeline, somebody he, it's either somebody he following, follows that type mm-hmm. of, or Something he related. follows that to end up liking it. Because if it's shown on your timeline, it's like, Something somebody that's in your you algorithm that's yeah, pushing some, it towards you. Exactly. Somebody that you follow has retweeted, brought, that, either retweeted or, that or you follow that person. So... That's I'm like, okay, that's still kind of like, eh. mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't know. Hey. But if he likes that, hey, enjoy your life. Enjoy what you Live like. Live your life. Yeah. <laughs> With your I, wife. Yeah. I feel like, I don't, like like I said in the first, I don't think that that is like a form of cheating. But I do feel like 
He should not have it, it, been liking it yeah. in a, on Twitter. Yeah. It just, it just opens everything up to discussion. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and especially on Twitter. Like, yeah. that's the, that's the, the worst, worst place. place to get exposed. The worst Twitter, place. they have no mercy. None at all. So, Mm-mm. I feel bad for the man. I feel like it's going to blow over, though. People are yeah. going to forget about it soon. By next week, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, by next week. So, yeah. Hey, enjoy what you like, Chance the Rapper. Right. <laughs> So, so yeah, I guess we could move on from yes. that topic. The next thing, Do Mr. You, what? Travis? Oh, Mr. Travis. Mr. Travis mm. Scott. He, so, allegedly, because I'm always yes. use that word. Allegedly, Mr. Travis Scott was caught with one of his old things. His old boots. Yeah. He circled the block. She was at a shoot um and then she post something to her stories yeah it was like a a video of her um like in the behind the scenes filming something and she said something like simple it wasn't hey it wasn't anything that was like explicit yeah like calling that out but then i feel like when you respond that's when things get it worse. Because, yeah. Get weird. Because then Travis responded saying, like, oh, she weird. I haven't seen it. Like, I don't hang out with her. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Like, all this stuff. He basically tried to say he don't even know her, right? Yeah. That's what yeah, he Yeah. And that's when she came out and made a video. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, if you don't know the girl and y'all suppose, why would he say he don't know her? That's the weirdest thing. If you don't know her, why would you? What? How would you have supposed even to even had her at the video shoot? Yeah, like how did she get the video of you if you don't know her? Like, I, and then he said it was a private set. Like, so yeah. clearly, if she was there, she knows somebody, and she's filming, and she's your ex, right? Like, you've already been exposed for it before. Did he forget that we already knew? Girl, like, I don't know. That's just embarrassing to me. I feel like if you would have just kept quiet. It probably would have been better. Yeah. But maybe that was Kylie doing like, oh, you better say something. I'm sure it was. Yeah. Trying to clear it up. And yeah. even the girl did a video and said she's been going on whatever with whatever narrative they've been letting the public believe. But mm-hmm. now, since he said he don't know her, she feels like. Yeah. See, if, if he would have just kept quiet. Uh-uh. That would have been the best thing for him to do. Just oh, uh, let it blow over. It, and it, and the thing is, the video was not anything that was, was bad. Yeah, it was bad. It was just hey, people would have been like, oh, she would, blah blah. Travis. But it would not have been this big. Yeah. Uh, now it's like actual allegations of him cheating with her, and that she was with him, and then her friends are telling him, telling her to come back to the like Travis is looking for you. Come back, like she was saying all really? that stuff. Yeah, and I'm just like. Mm. Seemed like he digging himself a little deeper. His one true love. Yeah, oh, that's weird. Yeah, mm. that is crazy. Cause yeah. if he's still messing with her after getting exposed the first time, and it's like you messing with a Kardashian, like as much as I don't care for them, yeah, like he got a meal ticket, girl. And that's just sad. Like, and Travis is not like the best looking man in the world. I would not say he is the best looking man in the world. Hey, to each his own. Yeah. But for him to just, I don't know. Maybe it's an insecurity thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, people cheat. People, yeah. yeah. We, we talked about yeah, that we, before. They're going to cheat regardless of what you have, what True. you look like. And what well, they some, look like. some people. Yeah. So, I'm, I believe her. <laughs> That's all I'm Yeah, saying. I definitely do. Yeah, I, I, I believe her in her allegations. So, mm. hopefully, yeah. they don't get caught next time. <laughs> you think he'll still mess with her? Of course. Like, these two could take... Mm, I think so. I think... I, I mean, unless... I don't know. Because now he, like, can't trust her. Yeah. Hmm. As I was saying, unless he, like, completely, like, upset about that. And, like, this is the first time it happened. Like, she got... I mean, she exposed secrets or mm-hmm. whatever. But, mm, I don't know. <laughs> hey. Time will tell. I was just about to say. Uh, we on next see. week's episode <laughs> of We're Keeping Up With Trav. But anyways, did you see Cardi B and Madonna 
getting into it? I briefly saw that, but I didn't look deep into Madonna, it. Madonna, first of all, she is a hot mess. That is somebody's grandma. Yeah. Like, she needs to go sit down. Yeah. She made some kind of tweet basically saying that she's the reason why all these girls could sing, do what they do now. She was like, I was kissing people, doing all kind of stuff, and now Cardi B is singing WAP, and this person is doing that. Um, I did this first and put some clown emojis. And Cardi B was... <laughs> I did not see. I should have read it. But I was like, eh, Madonna. Like, I'm like, thinking. Grandma. <laughs> Mima. <laughs> yeah, that's stop, Mima. That is like, Mima. Uh-uh. Ugh. So, I mean, I know Madonna back then was like an icon. She was a very big sex symbol. She was very, like, that girl to be yeah. out and, you know, doing the most and doing stuff and, you know, had, like, really big sex appeal. At her age, at her... Prime. Prime, right? So, I get that, but to say that she was the start of everything, yeah, like all no, I don't think so. Because girl, she did tripping. You, she, I, think, I mean, she literally has her whole look from Madonna. I mean, not from Madonna, from Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Like, so how did you really start? How did anything? you start it? And then, not even that, like. It was always like in the black community, even songs from way back in the day was like some like people did sexual songs. Yeah. So how like girl It was know. just shocking cause she was doing it. Yeah. She was probably blonde hair, looking the, like Marilyn. Yeah. So people was like, Wow, this you shocking. know she's what America views whatever. Touch as pearls. Yeah. So I that lady. She needs to sit down somewhere. She needs to move around. <laughs> Something. And then, uh, yeah. she just looked crazy. Yeah, she did that touch one her video. face. Like, her face looks strong. It looks... Like Jigsaw. Okay, let me not. Okay. I don't want to say nothing bad about people's You about to get canceled. For real, because... No, we not. We telling the truth. Hey. <laughs> but... <laughs> I... Hey, to each his own. She looked like the way she looked. Because she won't look like the way she looked. But I I don't know. She just kind of like she looked like she kind of like off. Now. Yeah, she'd be acting like she off too. Yeah, doing like, too much. Like girl, girl you are like how like and not, hey age. I'm not ageism. Nothing. You could do whatever you want at whatever age. But I feel like she is just doing the, the most. most. Yeah, and if you're a legend, if you're comfortable in your like um, career. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't have to diss other people. Yeah, and, like, and that's the issue. Compete with younger girls. That's not even making the same type of music as you, girl. Yeah, and like, I could even tie back to girl. I mean, I, I'm not going to bring it up, but last I week, already girl. know. I, I've been hearing some stories about... Wait. I'm talking about Nikki. Oh. Yeah, we're not going to bring that up. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like... Well, I don't know. Maybe it's like a... Maybe that tied back to insecurity, too. When people get older and get like... It's like, like they, um, I used to be the top girl. Yeah, and then they feel like, oh, these people are like coming for whatever title yeah. or, you know, whatever they say. But I feel like that is a reason why a lot of people start getting like that. Because like, why else? Like, if you are like confident and doing your own thing, it shouldn't be no issue. Beyonce would never. Yeah. See, she aging beautifully, still got her title as Queen B. Because she is like she it's like, remains unbothered. Yeah, and people like, come at like you know it's upcoming artists like similar, and it's no type of be like who, yeah. what's the point of beefing with somebody no that's point. coming up like mm-mm, no. And point. it's like you could try, but it's like if you already have all these years in a game, it's harder to compete with you. Like yeah, you have a resume. Like that's exactly. what I don't be understanding about the legends. When it be like beefing with young people, yeah, like you have so much in the game already, like and it's like you could just be well off and quiet and people still have respect, but then when you start picking at things and picking at people, then it's like, uh, it's like making you look bad and it's like people don't wanna mess with you no more if you doing too much. So Yeah. Yeah, I think Madonna for sure. Needs to relax much, and move around. Yeah, and just enjoy her older years, you know gracefully as much as she could i mean she go she could try she could try <laughs> she could try but yeah that's mm, crazy i didn't really look into it but now that i know <laughs> like, like sis, 
sit down. A hot mess. <laughs> but um, I guess the next topic we could move on to is something a little so good. Yeah. Um, and that was the owner of Gold's Gym Plains supposedly disappeared. Um, let me look up exactly. Because I don't really know him like that. It's just story. a sad, Yeah. Or no. Girl, to be honest, I thought Ghost Gym was like open way back in the day. I thought the owner would have been. Mm-hmm. Passed away Yeah, because Ghost Gym just sound like a older Like it's been gym. around for a long time. Yeah. So I was like, oh, what? Like that's. And he looked uh, not that old. He looked. Um, Pretty young. Yeah. Like he didn't look. Oh, yeah. He did he look young. He looked probably like 50s or whatever. But I swear I thought Ghost Gym was like been around for a while for yeah. generations so it said the plane um disappeared and it was carrying his partner and their children wow so yeah like what that's so sad and then they said like so is he in there because mm. it says it's to carry his partner and their children yeah that's what i was confused about um identified before you're a man and two minors are still accounted for. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to need to do more research. Actually, it says... Yeah, it says... I don't know why they titled it that way, but it says he was on the plane as well. Mm. So, yeah, his whole family. Like, that's so sad. That's so unfortunate. I know. It's like they said it, uh, they're flying. And do you know what caused it? It just says the uh, they lost disappear. communication with um, the control towers mm. while they were flying in the Caribbean Sea. So Wow. Sheesh. I wonder yeah. where they going over like somewhere in Bermuda. That's what I was wondering because I that's a whole conspiracy uh, in itself. Yeah, because I was like, is the Caribbean Sea like where the Bermuda Triangle is? Because people be getting lost in there. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to do more Ooh, research. I can't now. wait to our conspiracy episode. I know. This is already kind of spooky. Yes, Ooh. that yeah. is so sad. Rest in peace to him yeah, and his rest family. In peace. And then it's some people that's well, from what they say, I don't know if they found them yet, but some people are still like unaccounted for. Like they mm. found two, but like not everybody yet. Yeah. So hopefully, um, hopefully, hopefully somebody soon. pulls through, and um, that's just hopefully sad. somebody makes it and yeah. is able to like live on and carry on their legacy. Yeah, um, that's sad. But it yeah. is. Hmm. Rest in peace to... Rest in peace to him and his family. Yeah. So, moving on. I guess we could talk about young CEO, young entrepreneur, Miss Blue Ivy. Oh, And her Ms. expensive Blue. bid. She's richer than you. <laughs> yes. So, Miss Blue Ivy did a bid on uh, the wearable art. Yes, at the wearable art gallery. Yeah, for 80 k 80k y'all blue ivy is how old girl, like 10 years old i think she's like 10 11 ish she is like 10 11 years old and already has bought a house <laughs> oh artwork it's that cost as much as somebody's house yeah like like that's amazing uh, yeah it's inspiring it's i mean it's because you know she came for money anyway. yeah yeah, but now nah, Blue I, been working on her life. What you talk about? <laughs> she, <laughs> she been pulling hard her, for this. Oh, yeah, real. she been pulling her weight, pulling her weight. But um, <laughs> yeah, I just I like to see. It's like I don't know. I love to see black, young black opulence. Yeah, and just like, growing up in the luxury yeah. that all black people deserve. Yes, mm. definitely. So yeah I, I i really like to see it. and it's just like showing her personality like i don't know it's good to see like, yeah i don't know it was super cute to me and just like a shocker of course because that's a lot of money right 80k well i'm sure beyonce and jay are behind her yeah like, the, i don't think they'll let her foot the bill this time yeah <laughs> this, this time just this time but hey see at least this is an inspiring thing for y'all to Think about like okay, I'm gonna get you know it's making me want to step up my game. Yeah. Okay, this even though she came, you know she grew up in in a wealthy environment, but yeah. still I feel like oh, I want to buy some art and yeah. step up my my collection. Yeah, it's like oh, it's cute to pinkies see pinkies up, pinkies up, fancy. But yes. yeah, I think I just thought that was super cute. And I think so too. Like just her being a boss and being rich. Hey, 
black girl luxury. Yes, black <laughs> like the soft life. The soft the life. The soft life. What all of us deserve. Yes. And what all of us, re- well, I reach for it. Now. Right. Like, I can't say all because maybe can't some speak people. for all y'all. But... For real, but I'm reaching for that soft life. So. I feel it. Yeah, that's all. I just already thought it was super cute. <laughs> So next, are you ready to move on to our next segment? I think so. so I'm excited. This segment is our Confessions Corner. Confessions Corner. Yes. Y'all don't m- laugh at me. I'm not confused. <laughs> we got to get our mellies right. Yeah. We'll a nice little <laughs> intro okay. to our Confessions Corner soon. Yes. Coming soon. Coming to soon. To a playlist near you. Period. <laughs> So I better run that up. For real? <laughs> Do you want to start with the one? Okay, so let me see what I have here. Okay. So I'm gonna be reading it live off of Reddit. Yes. Um hmm. so let's start with this one. I think this one is kind of funny. It says, so we're reading from the confessions on Reddit. Mm -hmm. And this one says, as a black woman, after this roommate situation, I don't ever want to live with black people again. What do y'all think? For real. Let's go. Let's Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Click on it. So story time. (laughs) Yeah. I feel horrible for thinking it and even writing it. In a way, it feels racist against my own race. Mm. I, you know, say sis. <laughs> for real. I already struggle with a part of my identity where ever since middle school, it has been made only overly aware that I don't act black. My schoolmates, my teachers, my counselors, my church people, and my whole family has brought this up. Dang. For real, what? At first, I felt like they were being racist and ignorant ones because I don't act like a typical black person. In college, as far okay, girl. Yeah. Um, let's see. Skip to the, let's see, girl. She wrote a whole. She wrote a book. Okay, so now in my current stuff. living situation with my current roommate, she always comments on things that I do say or like. That's according to her. Doesn't act doesn't make me seem like I act black. Even when we have disagreements and she wants to get loud and argue, I don't. (laughs) She's funny. She'll comment on how I need to learn to argue like a black person. Honestly, I feel like just getting loud and crazy is just trashy and a waste of energy. So what what we think? Girl, she, I don't know. Is this Uncle Ruckus? Man, I feel like she, (laughs) something about it just speaking like, Queen. Yeah, I don't like it's that. Give it Uncle Ruckus. It's- Kanye, is this you? <laughs> Kanye. He knew we didn't want to talk about him no more, so he found his oh, way really? into the chat. He found a way. Oh, I. Mm-mm. Anybody who's, I just feel like she's seeming and sounding like one of the pick me's for the whites. Yeah. And I don't like that vibe. Like, girl, okay, respect yourself and. Okay, like, I don't know. I don't like that. Yeah, she seemed like she needs to learn how to use her words to communicate. Yeah, something. Like, if you don't want to argue with somebody, say, I don't want to argue with somebody. Yeah. And Talk you, to them. Yeah. And don't assume it always has to do with the fact they're black. Yeah. Because black people are not a monolith. Exactly. Like you people, said a yeah. lot of times. Like, that's why I don't like when people say, like, generalize black people as... Just like, oh, no, I'm black. Especially a black woman, like, doing that to her own people. I just feel like, girl, get it together. Don't don't say that about your own people. Like, if if you want to hang out with who you want to hang out with, hey, nobody, nobody cares. Nobody's stopping you. But for you to bring up. Yeah. Because the thing is, you could go get another roommate that's black or you could get one that's white or Asian or another race and they might, you might still have issues with them. Exactly. That's not going to like, you know, living with people is hard. It takes a lot of communication. Yeah, definitely. And it takes like boundaries. Mm -hmm. So if somebody's screaming at you, that's not okay. So you should be talking about that. Yeah. Not figure trying to figure out why you don't like to live with black people. Exactly. Because that's not a black problem. Uh It's the that person's problem. Exactly. And like how many girl have you had like twenty black roommates before and then this is like, okay, no, see like no, I'm sure she just singling out over like probably like two experiences that she had. And then for people to say, of course, 
Like, cause even at, growing up, I got told that like, oh, you speak like you girl, you talk white or whatever. I never took it. I was like, uh, what? You know, like no, I don't. But I feel like some people will be like, what? Oh my god! Like this is like, you guys are like offended. Like I don't know. And then say like, okay, it's like let the people say whatever. Who cares? Like, yeah. It and then speak how you want. Like it's not like these people are. I don't know. I feel like. People should be able to speak how they want. Yeah. I feel like you just need to relax a little bit because you sound like Uncle Ruckus. That's all yeah, I have to say. About like her. She needs to um, use her communication. Use communication skills and don't generalize a whole group of people. Yeah, over based off of one roommate want. situation. Yeah, and that goes for all races. Yeah. I know y'all be doing it too, other ones. Mm-hmm. So... Don't Let's generalize. not stereotype. Let's not generalize. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I agree. But that was kind of funny. <laughs> I'm like, girl, Uncle Ruckus. Mm-mm. So let's see. Um, I guess we could move on to the next okay. one. I'll search for one now. Mm. Mm. Let's see what I got. Hmm. So I'm going to do one of these and say that they need advice. So hmm. this one is how does friends with benefits work? Hmm. I am 28 male who started sleeping with a 40 year old female who is in an open marriage. Hmm. We <laughs> get deep. Yeah. We have been talking for one week and we and agreed with friends with benefits. The thing is. My, it's my first time and she calls me and texts me constantly when we have sex she stays the whole night cuddles and has pillow talk with me i just feel like she's catching feelings <laughs> way too quick and i would feel bad telling her if i were to be with any other girl since we're not in a relationship has anyone experienced this type of situation here before hmm. First of all, <laughs> she didn't find her a second husband. For real. So, Cause what? It's quote unquote an open marriage. We don't know for sure. You know, yeah. this is what he probably what she is telling him that it's an open marriage. So, if this, I feel like because she already emotionally invested after a week. Yeah, that's, that's a little weird. crazy, especially if she's an older woman. Like, girl, uh-huh. and has open open marriage mean okay, you could do. Whoever and whatever you want, really. So I feel like something up. I don't. I feel she probably. It's probably not open marriage. Yeah, because she sounds sound like, like she's just like is cheated, going a little or, too hard, yeah. and it sounds like she's looking for something that she don't have already. Yeah, in like, her marriage. Mm-mm. So that's like red like Barbara, right take it. Go home. <laughs> Go home, Barbara. For real. So hmm. In my eyes about this situation, I feel like he should cut it off. Because if he truly don't want to have feelings or any connections to her, and she's already acting like this. They're together. After a week, then... mm. It's only a red flag, my guy. Yeah. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta move on. You gotta... I got to move (laughs) on and be who Who I I am. am. (laughs) Word to <laughs> Zac Efron. Or, that, who was Vanessa? That? Vanessa Hutchins? When she had to move schools? Oh, so it was high school. Girl, I just be known It's high school musical, like yeah. High, oh, shout out to high school musical. Gang, gang. <laughs> okay, yeah. That one, he should just get away while he can. It's been a week. Find, find a new friends with benefit situation. Yeah. Because if you feel like you don't want no feelings with this woman... You got to cut it off now. You got to cut it off now. Before it gets too far. <laughs> mm. Okay. So okay. So let me one? see. My girlfriend admitted that she used me to hide her sexuality. Mm. Hmm. That's yeah. not right. It gets deep. Okay. My girlfriend admitted to the fact that she used me to hide the fact that she was a lesbian. I knew she liked girls and at least bisexual, but I had no idea it was to this extent. Her parents are conservative and don't support same-sex relationships. So you gonna tell on her, bro? (laughs) 
Let's real. see. What's, what's... Let's see. <laughs> Her parents. She also says she have a girlfriend who no one knows about for three years. Wow. She says she want to break up with me, but can't because they'll find out about her girlfriend and she deliberately made us get caught by her parents so they'll think that she's straight. Mm -hmm. But after she said this, after she said she loves me, it always goes too far and thinks as she regrets what she said. Wow. Mm -hmm. She says she loves me and wants us to get married in the future. I don't think I want to do that. She... (laughs) (laughs) He's he's thinking now. He got <laughs> he got his thinking cap on. Yeah, she loves to prank people, so maybe this is a prank. <laughs> She's acting lovey dovey and says she regrets what she said. But if we break up, she hopes we're still friends. I haven't talked to her after she admitted this, but I'll talk to her later and ask her if it's the truth. I just don't know what to do or think. Oh. Um, that one's deep. It is. That one's kind of like wow. It's giving beard. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think she should have straggled this man on. Yeah. And getting his feel. I feel like she should have came up from the jump. Okay. I just need you to. Yeah. Check. It's gonna be fake. Cause so- clearly he loves her. Yeah. And that's not right because when you toy people's feelings when you don't really feel like that that way towards them it like what can't why really would hurt you, someone yeah why would you treat somebody like would you want somebody treating you like that Mm-mm. ask yourself that before you treat somebody and like ask that. yourself do you want to be friends with somebody who could do this to you yeah because this hasn't been a nice situation i'm sure yeah. and she could have like you said she could have been honest from the jump or at least said something when she seen your feelings was getting involved. Yeah. But she just kept stringing you along. And she's kind of still going to use you for, like, your friendship or whatever you could yeah. give her. So I would suggest just move along. I would, too. I would totally, like, because if you keep dragging it on and your feelings are involved, it's just going to hurt you more yeah. and more and more. And this girl needed just... I don't know. It didn't it didn't say their ages, huh? No. Like, girl, if your Hopefully parents... Hopefully y'all not too old doing this. Yeah, because why are you listening or even like girl? So concerned about with your parents. Yeah, like, you live and, at home? Yeah, that's like, are you living with them or something? Because other than that, they don't like, they don't control your life. You live as the person you want to live as. Right. Simple as that. Your parents don't control you. So don't get other people involved in your mess. <laughs> <laughs> that's on period yeah simple as that okay so, so let me see. let's see well, this is fun I, like so this. I know let me look for some topics as well yeah i think okay. we're gonna be doing one or two more <laughs> this one okay i wanted to do so this person said all along i was a toxic person <laughs> At least the, the first thing is acknowledging and admitting yes. where you're wrong. So the healing process has started. <laughs> yeah, they would. Hey, y'all! Uh, just realizing that most of my relationships and things similar of that sort have never really worked out because I'm very much a toxic person uh-uh. and kind of emotionally unavailable. I continually would question why I attract emotionally unavailable men or men that were just not it. My answer has been. <laughs> My answer has been answered. A friend of mine has really helped me open my eyes to what mm. kind of person I am. I am not saying I'm an evil monster, but I am not as friendly or caring as I thought I was. Mm. I, I'm i trying to work on myself, but at the same time, I think I'm just trying to understand better and reflect. So heads up if y'all, if all your relationships are working out aren't working or you attract a certain type of person you might need to look at and check yourself i didn't want to um oh i didn't want want to escape this for a long time lmao i thought i was the perfect woman in a relationship but looky here Mm -mm. i like this one because people very introspective yeah i and i feel like sometimes we get so caught up like what's everybody doing wrong like why they should like acting like this like i'm cool I, i'm this i'm that when it's like have you ever looked deeper <laughs> into yourself into the mirror yeah have you looked at yourself and seen your actions and wondered like hmm. why am i acting like this yeah what can i improve and this girl found out that she was 
a toxic in fact, person. A toxic person in the relationship. Mm. Have you ever felt like <laughs> you're the toxic person and <laughs> just jump in there? Never. Never. Ever. Period. I I'm, I'm perfect. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, some. As I got older, sometimes I look back and be like, I could have handled that different yeah. or I could have did that. I feel like we, a lot of people have their toxic moments. I'm yeah. not saying we all, because some of y'all are just, I guess, just up here on yeah. maturity levels. But sometimes we have our moments where we regret the mm-hmm. way we handle things. Yeah. But I feel like as long as you could take time to realize your flaws mm-hmm. and just like she was being be introspective, like, we all make mistakes. Exactly. As long as you acknowledge that and want to heal from that. Yeah, hey. exactly. And I feel like um, a lot of people who have that mindset are just like, hey, I'm perfect. It ain't nothing wrong with me. It's like some type of like, okay, sometimes you do got to look in the mirror. Yeah. And see that. And then you could become like a victim a lot. Yeah. Thinking like that because you always think somebody's doing something to you because yes. you always assume like you're out. Perfect, perfect like, and nothing. I'm not you doing do. anything, and it's not affecting the people around you. But really. yeah, so that's what I, I like to do. That too, I like to sit down and be like, "Hmm, I could have handled that better." Or like, let me think, how can I approach people differently, or like, you know, communicate differently? Yeah. And instead of like being, because dif- I feel like a lot of times it's like you're just always like on a defense, like, "What? Why would you say?" It? Or like, "Why would you do something like that to me?" Like. That's how I feel like sometimes it is, but it's like, what did I do to get this reciprocated energy? Because this energy is off, but, and sometimes it, of course, it's not always your fault. And yeah. some people's energy is off, but sometimes it could be your energy. Like even, even with me in a relationship, like we've been together for a long time. And sometimes I do have to sit myself down and like, okay, am I really the bad guy right now? Hmm. Let me think this through. You're not. No, just <laughs> what? I don't think I am. Sometimes, maybe. <laughs> maybe, but um, yeah, a lot of the times I'm, but I feel like the way I am, I'm very open to communication. Like, I like to know, are you feeling some type of way? What did I yeah. do to make you feel like this? I'm very much a person who likes to communicate at a tone, a normal level tone. tone. Yeah, you don't, don't like people screaming at you? Yeah, because most of the time I'm like, and I feel like that's the issue sometimes. It's like most of the time I am really like asking. It's not like, okay, so what what could be worked on when it's and it's no arguing involved or even like no bias connected. It's more of like a general question, like, okay, right. what what could be fixed? Or, yeah. But sometimes it get taken wrong and yeah. But overall it's always I'm a good thing. Yeah. When you, I'm, when you communicate. And yeah, when right. you communicate it, it's always good. And see if you did anything wrong or ask and if they are doing it wrong, just say like, oh, you know, I didn't like the way you were acting. Yeah. But and it'll help you always... grow as a person too. Yeah. And it don't always have to be an argument. That's yeah. the main thing. Nobody wants to argue all the time. I yeah. hate people who want to argue all the it's time. It's so weird. It'd be crazy. It's... I used to be uh, like, what's wrong? Yeah. Like it's no point. I don't think it's like ever a point to fully argue. Sometimes I'll be arguing. I'm not yeah. going to I don't want to argue all the time. Yeah, I feel like when I argue, it's just like I just want it to be over. Like I don't ever, yeah. I don't want to go deeper. I don't want to bring up more stuff. Like I, and that's I feel like that's kind of like an issue with me sometimes too. Because if I'm at that point where it's like arguing, you feel I would like just you dismiss it. I dismiss it and I won't talk. Me, I I'll go the silent mode. Too. I just be silent. And that's I'm a just, problem. It is because it's like things could be communicated calmly and like just to acknowledge each other's situation yeah because yeah i would literally go quiet like, yeah and be i like, used to do that all the time and I'm, I'm a kind of person the next day if i'm not feeling it still i'll still be quiet same. but we have to use our words yes. like the theme of the episode using our words yes because that's not always the best way things out Yes. Yeah, but I, I hate when agree. people scream at me too because yeah, I just be like, weird. I'm not talking in that tone. Yeah, so why are so you talk to me, me like that? Talk to me nice or don't talk to me twice. Exactly. Period. <laughs> so I guess we could do. You want to do one more? Yeah, we could do one more. Okay, because these, these are, are good, funny. Yeah. Okay, so let's find a good one for y'all. Hmm. I technically you could bro- also... brought my wife. What? I think, okay. yeah, and it could just, it just comes up. Mm. 
Okay. <laughs> so this one is kind of crazy, y'all. Yeah. So this one says, I want to suck off my friends so bad. Girl. <laughs> Boy, whoever what? this is. Okay, so it says, he's sitting across the couch from me, and I can see his bulge. We've both been chilling, but I wish I w he would ask me to suck his cock. What? Here. <laughs> Here's some water. Closer, a little closer. Here's some water, baby. Because you're acting thirsty. Way this is crazy. Thirsty. What? It's giving HR issues. <laughs> It's giving it's need giving, to be reported. Yes, it's giving call the police. Cause yes. what are you talking about right now? My girl. No way. She sounded like I'm a thief in the night. For real. <laughs> like, like girl, what? How's okay, that's weird. First of all, is her was it her best or just a regular friend? I guess just a friend. I guess it's not a safe switch, so it's his. Yeah, cause what? And I, we don't know if it's girls or boys either. Like yeah. it's a human or a girl and a guy. But y'all, y'all yeah, tripping. Yeah, y'all tripping. Because what? Why? What? How are you getting them urges to have that one? Yeah, you of your friend? At them. Yeah. Because like, I wonder if it was, yeah, like she's like, or if they are like, just like making it awkward. Like, wonder. Like, yeah. How is that? Does the other person know? Yeah. What kind of vibes are you getting? Because mm, they See, can be giving predator vibes. We need to talk. Because it, it sounds like you're giving predator vibes. Yeah. Okay. Like I'm gonna call you Harvey. Mm. <laughs> <For> <laughs> Harvey real. Kelly. Harvey Kelly. Get it together. What, what are you talking about right now? I don't like that. Like, girl. That's it. How are you? Or girl or guy, boy, they. Well, how are you that thirsty? Thirsty over your best friend and just like staring them down like that. That's weird. So you need to be a normal human being and either go ask your friend. <laughs> what's up or yeah. leave that person alone leave that exactly. man alone because you praying on him watching him sleep looking at his bulge <laughs> what is that going to do for anybody you need to Literally, go talk to him yeah. and see what that shit do for real like <laughs> like all right yeah like all right, what were you gonna do just like okay like attack or what like this Oof. is like <laughs> you know pounce <laughs> Not um no. mm -mm, pounds. That <laughs> that she needs to either yeah like okay I'm kind of feeling you or whatever because that was just weird like that that was not enough detail to the story to even know but girl that sound that sound crazy it get do. it together that was not yeah. cool just mm -hmm. go talk to your friend and see if they're into you if they are y'all could you know make it happen exactly. but if they not you gotta relax mom yeah don't or force it whoever you are because you're acting kind of crazy you act a real person and just ask that. how would you feel if somebody was watching you sleep yeah what and trying to get with you why you just it's just weird. Yeah, like I feel like they just think that just like that's like porn. Yeah, <laughs> scenes like uh -uh. <laughs> no. Shorty on the prowl. <laughs> See, I'm gonna let you borrow my outfit. For real, See, on her. you you proud? Cheetah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Back on the prowl, <laughs> single again. Shorty, relax. Tripping. Yeah, just chill. Don't do it. Ignat, if you feeling him, tell him. You know, ask a talk. Nah, she's a munch. Look at <laughs> Yeah. You acting like a munch right now, she right? She's a munch. Because no. that's all she low key wants. Yeah. Girl, you a munch. You a so munch. we don't like that for you. Nah, figure you gonna it out. You have to get that together. Do, do, do better. Do better. Do better, hon. So. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Yeah. So that's going to wrap up our reddit yes reddit confession sex. yes i really like that that was fun it was it yes it's crazy to hear it all these people's story is like stuff that is just like mind-boggling like mm -mm. but <laughs> with that being said we can move on to our, our wellness next segment yeah the wellness, segment. wellness segment so this wellness segment is gonna be a little bit more serious because you know uh the colder season winter is coming mm -hmm. and no game of thrones yes <laughs> And that could lead to the seasonal depression. Yes. That a lot of us experience. You know, it's times where gifts are being given. It's times where, 
you know, people are celebrating and maybe some people can't celebrate or some people uh-huh. can't go out or, uh-huh. you know, and it, even it's cold, you know, you sometimes you have to be in the house more. So yeah. how do you feel? Do you, Well, first, have you ever experienced seasonal depression? I think I do. I'm a person. I love the sunshine. I always, mm. I'm a cancer. So I always say I'm like a summer baby. Yeah. Like when the sun's out, I feel so happy. I feel like I just want to go outside and enjoy my day. Mm-hmm. So sometimes when it is cold and I got to stay in the house more on the weekends, I just be at home, just cuddled yeah. up. And after a while of that, it's nice at first. But after a while, I'd just be like, dang, where's the sun? Like, yeah. I always find myself by the end of winter in the fall I've been like I can't wait till summertime to come back yeah around. same so yeah and there's just so much happening in the holidays like, yeah sometimes I'll be like whew I'll be feeling bad yeah I'll be feeling bad if I can't buy everybody I want to give mm-hmm. like all kind of stuff so yeah, yeah sometimes okay so what do you think um for me seasonal depression uh I think I experienced it like a couple of a couple of years ago like kind of like tough that's when i really noticed like okay hmm, this is like something yeah so um for me it was like the cold weather because i'm also born in july Mm -hmm. i'm a summer baby i love summer and i love just the sunshine and i feel like literally like it gives me energy and it gives me like you know the the emotion to want to do things yeah so um yeah like when it's winter time it's like okay i want to be in the house more i want to be like cozy going outside is a lot because you got to get dressed and it's like cold like i feel like i don't know it's i just like wanted to be in the house more and then by being in the house more it's like okay what am i doing i'm just yeah. in the house i'm not doing much it's cold it's rain and rain when it rain yeah. like, i'm in the house there's no, yeah. no point for me to go out i'm pretend my hair for real so um yeah, for me, it was, like, I started getting, like, really, like, just, like, mm, I'm stuck in a house. Like, started getting sad and just thinking too much, of course, about really nothing. But yeah. just by being in a house and just, like, you know, getting with into your thoughts, your own. Yeah. It's, it started to get overwhelming. So I'm like, okay, let me just figure out what I can do to, you know, make myself feel better. And I feel like getting, like, nice cozy pajamas even though that's like cliche or whatever or even like materialistic i feel like that's something that like helps me like just like okay i could be cozy and i can still be productive and like get things done having like warmer clothes during that time and like being because i literally like if if it's too cold i will want to be in bed all day and i'm like okay okay, my back start hurting you know yeah Mm -hmm. cold be in your bones yeah um yeah i feel like to get, because I, I mean, I didn't experience it to like really be like depressed, depressed. It was yeah. like a mild. I feel like it was mild, and it wasn't like, okay, dang, I need to figure something out because I'm like depressed, you right? Know? But I do understand that people do go through that. So I feel like with that, with seasonal depression, just figure out. The main thing to do is really figure out what it is that is bothering you. Yeah. And to figure out, like... How you can combat that. Yeah, like, okay, what are the things that is really taking a toll on me during this time? Figure it out and, yeah, see how you could improve that situation or really, like, take a look and see, like... Yeah. It might be something as easy as, like, scheduling Zoom calls with your friends or using FaceTime more Mm -hmm. or, like, um, if you need more sunshine... Yeah. You can order things on Amazon, lights that mimic sunshine oh, yeah. and different stuff like that. See? So there's different ways I feel like you could combat it. Mm-hmm. But like you said, just recognizing that it's there yes. and trying to figure out like what's really causing it. Mm-hmm. I think that's like two great ways to start. Yeah, I agree as well. I think, um, yeah, if more people do that, it's just like just just to really look and figure out what you can do. To feel better. Because we all want to feel better. We don't want to be stuck in those yeah, situations. Yeah, in a rut. Yeah, like that. Or even worse, like really feel deep, falling deep into it. It's yeah. Like, you know, we got to figure out it's ways hard. to protect yeah. Our, yeah, to protect our energy and protect our peace. Yeah, and our mental health. Yeah. Our mental health as well. Exactly. So, yeah, our wellness section is kind of short this time. Yes. But I feel like it's necessary to talk about 
seasons changing. Yeah, and, and just remember, take care of yourself. Surround yourself with friends. Yes. Buy yourself some new pajamas. Yeah, some new socks. So like, I'm about cozy. to start getting into socks. Where's Rob Kardashian? For real, I don't yeah. wear socks. Me neither. That's why I gotta start wearing them because yeah. my feet and these wooden floors uh -huh. is only gonna get colder. I need to start. I don't know why <laughs> to jump into a tangent, but I don't know why socks bother me so much. They're the white man's creation. <laughs> no, just no. I'm oh, just kidding. Me. But yeah. I'm not a big fan of socks. Like, yeah, I feel like my feet be suffocated. Something, or it just feels like uncomfortable. Like I just feel like my toes can't like, breathe. Breathe. Yeah. They're like no move. air. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not a big sock person. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try better. I'm gonna do better to be a sock yeah. person. Because you know, I feel like they do. Keep like the moisture. In, like, yeah, like, and my feet too. be dry. I'm not even gonna cap. Yeah, <laughs> wooden floors, you know, wooden floors in a new apartment. <laughs> Period. <laughs> but, do some too, you know? Yeah, you gotta wear your house shoes yeah. and your socks. So mm -hmm. just remember, self care is the best care. Yes. Take care of yourself. Surround yourself with people. Good food. Good spirit. Yeah. Love. You know, mm -hmm. all of the above. Yep, and test the season for good food because yes. Thanksgiving is coming up. Period. Yeah, it's gonna be a fatter. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm gonna need grow some. So yes, do you I'll have check. any plans for the winter time? Any? Yes. Um, traveling plans. My anniversary is well, my original anniversary is in uh december okay so we do i don't know yeah i'm still trying to figure out what we're gonna do for that like what main event we're gonna okay. do but um in january i am gonna go to big bear we're running out of cabin oh yeah. we're doing that in december oh really yes. that's cool i'm excited yeah it's like I feel like Big Bear is like, especially if you live in LA, is yeah, it's necessary each year. Yeah, <laughs> definitely necessary. Big Bear. We get to go to the snow. Yeah, because we do not get snow. Yeah, so we get to go experience it. I know. really want to go to Colorado. I want to go to Aspen. Colorado is so girl. We let's go. Yes, we gonna yes because Colorado is so beautiful and the air is so fresh. Like, I, I bet I really want to go. Colorado. I'll be down. I'll be down too. We should okay. plan a trip this winter. Podcast on the road. For real? Yes. <laughs> Podcast okay. in, De uh, in Colorado. Not yeah. Denver. I went to Denver, which was beautiful, but wherever, we're going to be in Colorado. New Girls on the Block, take Aspen. Part uh, one. See? Let's get into it. Get into it. Yes. We're going to be there. That would be fun. That would be. Okay. We're going to plan that. Okay. <laughs> so. But. We're going to move on to yes. our last segment of the week, yes. and that is our Black Business Woo! segment. I love this segment. I, yes, me too. Mm -hmm. So, I want to talk about um, a brand. I have their Shea Butter. Mm -hmm. I, um, if you're in LA, you might be familiar with the Slauson Swap Me. Uh -huh. It's the Shea Butter place in the Slauson Swap Me. I don't have their name right now, but okay. I'm going to leave it in our description yeah, bar yeah, yeah. and our detail bars on all of our um, platforms. Mm -hmm. But their shea butter, when I tell you, it smells so good. Really? Like I literally was walking. Um, I think we were trying to get a shirt or something. And I just smelled the shea butter. I'm like, follow my nose. Yeah. Like I had to get something. It's a little pricey for like the smallest jars, $20. Ooh. But when I say it smells like the one I got, it smells like Starburst. Mm. Like I love smelling fruity. You gotta bring that out so I can yes. smell it. Yes, like let me see. Do you? Yeah, we could. We gonna look, do a little pause and be right back with the yes. Do <laughs> So yeah. So, yes. We weren't able to find it. We weren't able to find the name of the Shea Butter place, but like I said, once I find it, I'm gonna leave it in the description bar so y'all yes. can follow up because. Yeah, I be smelling good. I'm gonna try to smell good too. Mm -hmm. And you shea know? butter, I love shea butter because like when you put it on, it literally lasts yes. all day. The scent, like, and then your skin be so soft yes. and feathery. Mm -hmm. Like, mm. I love shea butter. I need to find me a good one because, girl, I just have that plain smell. I don't like yeah. the plain one, but I have plain. Mm, I need to step my scent game up on the shea butter. That's. But I'm gonna hit that up. Yeah, definitely. It. And you just like when you go there, you see the pots that they make it fresh really? and everything. What? Yeah. Yeah, I need to hit up the sloths, and I have not been there in. So long. Me neither. Yeah. You know, you're a little ratchet. But yeah, dude. I try to like. I love it. Yeah, it's a love hate relationship because sometimes some crazy stuff be popping up. Yeah. There. But yeah, 
We still love it. And we it's still a, respect it as it's, a... It's an L.A. staple. Yeah, I was just saying, as an L.A. staple. Yeah. Sauce and saw me. But... When um, all those fills, the sauce ain't gonna come through. <laughs> yeah. So. So, that is... We're gonna... We're gonna insert the black business name, but that is our black business yes. of the week. So... Now, it is coming to an end. This is the last. Or you have something? Yes. I just want to remind y'all, y'all need to call in. Oh, yeah. Please call in to the podcast. Let me get the number for y'all because Mm -hmm. we want to talk to y'all. We want to be our friends. We want it to be more personal. Like, you know, literally like we're helping or talking to you. Like, so... Send a text. Don't be know? shy. Don't be shy. And I know I say y'all can't call, but y'all can call, okay? <laughs> y'all can call. Just leave a voicemail because I'm not going to answer. Yeah. I can keep that part of the promise. Mm-hmm. So the number is 323-250-7994. Yes. Again, our number to call in. You guys can ask us about anything. Y'all can ask us advice. Yeah. Tell me about how your life is. Yeah. I hope it's not in shambles. But if it is, we're here. We're here, we're here to, to help. comfort and support. Yes. So our number is 323-250-7994. Yes. yes. Send them text so we could. Can we, we'll, we'll even shoot you a little text back, you know? We'll let you know, too. We'll send you a text. Like, we're going to use this for the next podcast, so stay tuned, just so you guys know as well. So, yeah, make sure y'all... Hitting us up. Yes. Hit <laughs> us up. Do not play. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. We want to be friends. Don't yes. run from me, friend. <laughs> yeah. Period. But you got it wrong. You yes. know, we, we homies. We cool. Yes, we are. So, so yeah. this has been this week's episode. Yes. I hope y'all have a safe and happy Halloween. Yes. Um, go follow us on New Girls on the Block on YouTube, mm-hmm. on Instagram, and on Spotify. Yes. And don't forget Apple Podcasts as well. Yep. Anywhere where you stream podcasts, go tap in every Wednesday at 9 a.m. Yes. And don't forget to rate us too. Because yes. we, we need the five besties. stars. Five, five stars. stars. Yeah. Yes. Support you. Y'all girls. Yes. So see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.